Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is x over 2 to the power of 6, this is equal to 3 to the power of 6. So, what are the values of x? Now, let's provide a solution from here. Now, we have x over 2 raised to the power of 6, this is equal to 3 to the power of 6. Now, x over 2 to the power of 6 this is in the form of a over b raised to the power of n, which we can express as a to the power of n divided by b to the power of n. Now, applying this property, here we have x to the power of 6 divided by 2 to the power of 6. This is equal to 3 to the power of 6. So let's multiply both signs by 2 to the power of 6. So that now, here we have x to the power of 6, this is equal to 3 to the power of 6 times 2 to the power of 6, this is in the form of a to the power of n times b to the power of n, which we can express as a times b raised to the power of n. Applying this property, here we have 3 times 2 raised to the power of 6. And therefore, we have x to the power of 6. This is equal to 3 times 2, which is equal to 6. Then this to the power of 6. So let's take 6 to the power of 6 on the left-hand side. So that we have x to the power of 6 minus 6 to the power of 6. This is equal to 0. We can express x to the power of 6 as x to the power of 3 raised to the power of 2 minus 6 to the power of 6, which is 6 to the power of 3. Then this to the power of 2, this is equal to 0. This equation here is in the form of a squared. Now this equation is in the form of a squared minus b squared, which we can express as a plus b. Then multiplying by a minus b, this is equal to, to 0. So we have that a plus b equal to 0. This is the same thing as x to the power of 3 plus 6 to the power of 3. This is equal to, to 0. And we have that a minus b. This is the same thing as x to the power of 3 minus 6 to the power of 3. This is equal to 0. Let's call this equation 1 and this equation 2. So let's solve equation 1. We can call this one case 1. Case 1. In case 1, we have x to the power of 3 plus 6 to the power of 3. This is equal to, to 0. Now, x to the power of 3 plus 6 to the power of 3. This is in the form of a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3, which is the sum of two cubes that we can express as a plus b. Multiplying by, we have a squared. We have minus a times b, then plus b squared. Applying this identity, then here we have x plus 6. Then here we have x squared. Then we have subtract 6x. Then plus 6 squared, which is 36. This is equal to, to 0. So we have two parts here. The first part is x plus 6. This is equal to 0. And the second part here is x squared minus 6x plus 36, this is equal to, to 0. From the first part here, we have that x1 is equal to minus 6. The second equation here, this is a quadratic equation. Give, given that from this quadratic equation, we have a equal to 1, b equal mi to minus 6, and that c equal to 36. So we can solve for x, 2 comma x3 by applying the quadratic formula here which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac everything here divided by 2 times times a so therefore from here we have minus minus 6 plus or minus we have the square root of b squared which is minus 6 squared then minus 4 
times a which is 1 then times c which is 36 then everything here divided by 2 multiplied by 1 so this implies that here we have minus times minus 6 this is equal to 6 then plus or minus we have the square root of minus 6 squared which is equal to 36 then minus we have 36 times 4 and this is equal to 144 everything here divided by 2 so this means we have 6 plus or minus the square root of that the 6 minus 144 this is minus 108 everything here dependent by 2 now we can express the square root of minus 108 as the square root of 36 multiplying by 3 multiplying by minus 1 everything here divided by 2 so that now we have here this is 6 plus or minus the square root of 36 this is 6 square root of minus 1 this is i then square root of 3 everything here divided by 2 now we have in the numerator here that 2 is common here so we can factor out 2 into the parentheses this is 3 plus or minus here we have 3i square root of 3 everything here divided by 2 so let's simplify 2 and 2 here so that now x2 comma x3 this is equal to 3 we have plus or minus 3i square root of 3 so these are two complex solutions these are two complex solutions under case 1 so let's proceed to case 2 now in case 2 we have x to the power of 3 subtract 6 to the power of 3 this is equal to 0 now this is the difference of two cubes that we can express as a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 which we can express as a minus b then we have a squared plus a b then plus b squared applying this identity then here we have x minus 6 then here we have x squared then plus 6x then plus 6 squared which is 36 this is equal to 0 now the next step is that we have two parts here we have x minus 6 this is equal to 0 and we have x squared plus 6x plus 36 this is equal to 0 so from the first part here we have that x4 this is equal to 6 the second part here is a quadratic equation with a equal to 1 b equal to 6 and that c is equal to 36 so we can solve for the value of x5 comma x6 by applying the quadratic formula which is minus b plus or minus the square root of this is b squared minus 4ac everything here divided by 2 times a so let's substitute the values of a b and c so that now here we have minus 6 plus or minus the square root of 6 squared which is 36 minus 4 times a which is 1 then times c which is 36 divided by 2 times 1 which is 2 then the next step here we have minus 6 plus or minus the square root of 36 minus 36 times 4 this is 144 everything here divided by 2 now here we have minus 6 plus or minus the square root of 36 minus 144 this is minus 108 divided by 2 so that now here we have minus 6 plus or minus we can express the square root of minus 108 as 36 multiplying by 3 multiplying by minus 1 everything here divided by 2 the next step is that we have minus 6 plus or minus the square root of 36 this is 6 
square root of minus 1, this is i, then square root of 3, everything here divided by 2. Now, in the numerator here, 2 is common, we can factor out 2 so that into the parentheses we have minus 3 plus or minus 3i square root of 3. Everything here divided by 2. So if you simplify here, we have that x5 comma x6, this is equal to minus 3 plus or minus 3i square root of 3. So again, these are two complex solutions. So that now we have a total of six solutions. We have a total of six solutions. We have that x1 is equal to minus six. We have x2 comma x3. This is equal to 3 plus or minus 3i square root of 3. We have x4. This is actually equal to 6. x5 comma x6. This is equal to minus 3 plus or minus 3i square root of 3. These again are two complex solutions. These are two complex solutions. Also here we have two complex solutions so here we have four complex solutions and two real solutions a total of six so kindly follow the steps like this video and kindly subscribe see you in the next video bye bye for now